Hi guys, it's me, Miss Martinez's a surprise guest. If you knew that it was me, I I give you kudos because it was hard. Those those were some really good those are some really good clues. I mean, I am a girl. I do love to read, but that should have been the hardest one because all of your teachers should love to read, and all of you should love to read too. So, um, yes, it is me, Miss Brown. I'm so excited I get to read for you guys today, and I as well have a special guest that'll be here with me. It is me obviously, and Sammy B. He um, really likes this book that I'm going to read to you guys, partly because it's one of his favorite animals to chase in our hall, our hallway, in our um, front yard. Um, I'm just really excited to read to you guys. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, I will ask some questions throughout the book. Um, if you want to reply to them and let me see your answers, you are more than welcome to send them, I guess, to Miss Martinez on Dojo. If not, I mean, it's whatever you guys want to do, but um, you totally don't have to either. Um, but other than that, I present to you Those Darn Squirrels by Adam Rubin and Daniel Salameri, I think. Salameri? Yes, I think so. That is his name. Um, Sam, how do you feel about this book? He didn't really care, but it's fine. So I'm going to get started. Um, yeah, I'm going to get started. <laughs> so here's the front of the book. I really um, want to know what this bird has to do with the book himself because he just looks really angry. Um, and then here are our cool squirrel friends over here. Seems like they're all having a good time over there and we're not having a good time over here. Let's find out why. So here's the front page. I do want to ask you all a question. Why do you think... Why do you think they made this front page here a cart, like the words and letters carved out of wood? Um, I just think that's a really good question to ask just because why do you think? What do you think? What are these coming out from behind the tree? And then another question I have is, let's look at this page right here. Got a paint bucket. Got some paintings and some drawings on the wall. We have an, um, if you know what this is called that holds these, um, uh, holds up canvases for you to paint on, um, kudos, but if you do not, this is an easel. Um, I just, I'm just curious, what do you all think, who do you think this is, um, who, who's, like, I guess, room this is? And then after we read through the book, I want you to think, whose room is this? And then why do they have so many drawings of birds? Okay. All right, so here's our first page. It says, once in the outskirts of town, at the edge of a forest, there was a little old house. The only thing older than the little house was the old man who lived in it. Old man Fookwire. His name is Fookwire. F-O-O-K-W-I-R-E. Fookwire, I think, is how you say it. <clears throat> here's the next page. It says, old man Fookwire was so old that when he sneezed, dust came out. He was also a grump. So here he is, says he hated pie. So he's throwing a pie in the trash can. He hated puppies. Sorry, Sam. Um, so here's him, I guess, knocking a puppy out. So this says the only thing he liked was birds. All summer long, the old man painted pictures on, of, of birds that had visited his backyard. There were whirly birds and bonga birds, baba birds, and yabba birds. Even a rare flugel bird came by once or twice. Fuquire's paintings weren't very good, but the birds never said anything. So here's him doing the drawing of some birds. The next pages say, when the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change color, my chair has wheels on it, <laughs> Um, when the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change color, the old man grew sad. He knew that soon the birds would fly south for the winter, as they did every year, and that he would be lonely. Then he had an idea. If he fed the birds, maybe they would stick around. So old man Fuquire built beautiful bird feeders and put them up all around his backyard. He filled the feeders with delicious seeds and berries, and soon birds came from all over the forest just to eat in the man's yard. But then, birds weren't the only um, ones who liked the bird feeders. The squirrels did too. So you can see in this page right here, 
There are the birds eating, and then here we have some squirrels just watching them. Not many people knew this, but squirrels are the cleverest of all the woodland creatures. In fact, they're fuzzy little geniuses. They make a house out of a tree, a bed out of a bunch of leaves, and a box out of twigs, dirt, and squirrel spit. Ew. They are also excellent at math. Who would have thought? <laughs> um, winter was fast approaching, and the squirrels needed to gather as much food as they could uh, get ready. So they decided to take some of the bird food. Oh, no. I have a feeling that someone is not going to be happy about this. Check that out. You see this, Sam? See that? He doesn't care. Look at him just falling asleep. The birds were not happy. Ooh, shocker. Uh, neither was Old Man Fuquire. When he discovered what happened, he shook his old man fist and yelled, Those darn squirrels! There's that bird again. Y'all, he's mine. You know who he looks like to me? He looks like the angry bird. If you also thought that, it makes sense, doesn't it? And just angry bird, angry birds. I see where the author was coming from. He was trying to give probably like a text to world connection there. Talking about like, well, look. Actually, to be honest with you, it wasn't even the author as much as it was probably the illustrator who looked at the book and said, I'm going to put a bird that looks like the angry bird. That'll help the kids understand that he's upset. Does that make sense? Because that's what I was thinking. I don't know what he resembles. Kind of looks like the guy from Up, but I could be wrong. That guy's short. So then we have this next page. Old man Fuquire's doing some crazy stuff. He filled up the feeders again, but this time he hung them from a clothesline. Then he went back inside, confident that the squirrels would no longer be able to get to the seeds and berries. Oh, but he was wrong. But the squirrels were determined. They devised a plan, which means they created a plan. And this time they took all the food from the bird feeders. So here's that picture. Wow, look at that. They created a pretty good plan, didn't they? What do y'all think that their plan was? Obviously, it's in picture form, but reading this, what do you think, um, what do you think their plan was? Here's the next page. Birds were furious. Harum, 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 yelled a bonga bird. Those darn squirrels, yelled old man Fuckwire. Yum, said the squirrels. Now was old man Fuquire's turn to devise a plan. He went to the general store to get supplies. He bought lasers and clamps. He bought wires and springs. He bought all sorts of tools and built a vertical fortress around his bird feeders. So what a vertical fortress would be um, is exactly what you see in this picture here, y'all. Um, a vertical fortress is he put a circular one, he put a circular river here, but he also has this these pieces of wood you see they're probably swinging around. But the thing that I saw that he did right here is he has different traps and he has wire around. He's trying to make it absolutely difficult for these squirrels to get any of the food because it's his bird's food. So, um, here, it says right here, na 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 na, snouted the floggle bird. So here we have a table of squirrels. Um, not sure what table they're at, not sure where they got these peanuts that they're eating, but it says the squirrels stayed up all night working on their strategy. They drank cherry cola and ate salt and vinegar chips to help them stay awake. Okay, so those aren't peanuts, those are salt and vinegar chips. Um, finally, they had it, the perfect plan. They put on their tiny helmets and prepared to launch themselves into the air, over the fence, between the lasers, and onto the bird feeders. Y'all think it's gonna work? Do you think it's gonna work? Sam, do you think it's gonna work? Y'all, he's starting to get mad at me, I keep waking up. The first squirrel misfired and hit a tree. The second squirrel went too high and landed in a bucket. The third squirrel sailed clear over the house. The birds laughed and laughed. They each had one last delicious mouthful of seeds and berries from the old man's feeders. 
They Then they flew south for the winter, just as they did every year. Um, I don't really know what the sound is that he's making, but it sounds like... It spelled T-H-H-B-B-B-T-Z. So, whatever sound you think that would be, that's the sound he made. Or he made. And it was, of course, the floggle bird. After the birds left, old man Fuquart was lonely, just as he was every year. He fixed himself some cottage cheese and pepper, his favorite snack, but he was still lonely. When he looked out the window, the squirrels could tell that he wasn't happy. Go away, shouted the old man. I don't like you squirrels. It's pretty sad, huh? The squirrels held a meeting deep inside a large tree. I like this sign. It says, um, squirrel meeting tonight. It says, they decided to give the old man a present to make up for the seeds and berries. Now, not many people know this, but squirrels are not only fuzzy little geniuses, they also collect just about anything they find on the ground. These squirrels had a vast stockpile of spectacular junk to choose from. But what would um, Fuquire like? Bottle caps? Popsicle sticks? Food stamps? Finally, they had it. The perfect gift. The squirrels attack, um, sorry, the squirrels stacked all of their loose change on old man Fuquire's doorstep. There were dimes and pennies, there were nickels and quarters, there were even a few tokens from Coco's Arcade. It had all added up to $47.36, plus a few rounds of skee-ball. Maybe you squirrels aren't so bad, Fuquire said when he found the coins, but I still like birds better. They gave the squirrels another idea. They raided their junk collection again and again and they got to work so here we have um here are the birds i mean not the birds i'm so sorry y'all here are the squirrels and they are just um they're putting all their change together they left it for him on his doorstep and then this squirrel is um declaring something which means obviously they had a plan so here he is the next day on his doorstep when old man fuquire woke up the next morning he was amazed to see that the birds had returned. Wow. Check that out, guys. So what did the squirrels do? What do y'all see that the squirrels did? But wait! Those things weren't birds. They were squirrels in disguise. Great goosely moogly, said old man Fuquire. This, may, this will make quite a painting. He ran outside and took down the lasers and the wires and the spring-loaded trapeze. He turned all of the bird feeders into squirrel feeders. Then he painted till his brush ran out of bristles. The squirrels were so overjoyed, they had a party in old man Fuquire's house. Those darn squirrels, said Fuquire, and he shook his old man fist and smiled. So here's the last page. So they are having a party. He's shaking his fist, but he's not mad. Well, I um I really hope that you guys enjoyed me reading the story more than he did, considering he fell asleep. But um as y'all can see, I do really enjoy this book just because it has the whole story, you know, it tells you the story of the squirrels. And now, at first, they were having this huge plan that they wanted to try to get back at the old man and try to get all the seeds because they just, they knew and they thought, oh, I'm, well, we're so smart, we can get through anything because they're little geniuses. However, once there was a problem that they could not overcome, they realized in the end that that problem that they couldn't overcome ended up being something that, you know, they, they needed. They needed to... Um, Try and think of the best word for this. It's something that ended up over that they ended up overcoming. So they were able to learn more things about someone else that they may not know that they like. They uh, this whole story they were trying to get back at the old man, and then towards the end of the story they were trying to do things to make the old man happy. So what I want y'all to do with this, if you want to, is I want you to think about how did the birds? How one? How did the birds change their personalities or not personalities but I guess alter how they reacted towards people or squirrels or old men um 
which theirs will be just, you know, up until they flew south for the winter. Then I want you to think about how did the squirrels act before and after um, they failed at getting the seeds. And then last, I want you to think about how did the old man act before and after the birds flew south for the winter and um, the squirrels didn't get the seeds and at the end of the story. Um, I noticed that he kind of changes a little bit throughout the whole story. So that's what I want you guys to think about. I want you to think about the different characters in the story um, and think about how they changed from the beginning all the way to the end. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this book. Like I said, it's called Those Darn Squirrels um, and it is by Adam Rubin and it is illustrated by Daniel Salamiri. Um, but yeah, it's just a book that I really do enjoy. Like I said, it makes me laugh every time I read it just because you just see the irony and everything. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed reading the book to you. Um, hopefully I'll get to make more cool book videos for you guys. But right now, um, as of right now, this is my read aloud on Miss Martinez's channel and I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said. So I will see you guys very soon. I love you all a lot, and I hope you are having a really great time at home with your families, um, just enjoying the time that you do get off. Stay safe, don't forget to wash your hands, and have a wonderful evening or day, depending on when you watch it, okay? Alright, see you guys later. Love ya!